What's cooking? What's popping? SJS Nation, SJS fam. It's your girl, she, Jackie says, and I am back once again on your screens with another video. So, thank you guys for sticking and staying with me throughout this Vlogmas period. I know we are not done, but I appreciate the love and support so far. So, in today's video, this is like the last footage from my best friend's wedding. Now, this part is the blessing aspect. So, the previous upload was the one that covered the engagement, which was like purely african aspect now this time around this is the actual blessing this is like the imbibe culture the westernized culture because like those times you didn't have a lot of christians then so it was just the traditional aspect but this is a blessing aspect as i told you earlier my friend and their husband uh passed us so obviously we couldn't do away with the blessing aspect so this was as getting ready for the actual blessing where it needed the bridesmaids to be in vogue and to be in style and all that you you all understand <laughs> So finally, after taking all the pictures you wanted for social media, it was now time for the bride to leave and go meet her husband for the blessing. So this is like a tradition where we get the bride of the mother to put the veil on her daughter. Then we get people around to pray for her, for blessings for her marriage. It's like a tradition. So as you can see, she was praying and all that. And it was heavenly. It was amazing. And one thing I liked about this whole blend twin sanctity was the fact that I have known my friend for five years now and she has never been this happy. I have never seen her this happy and it was one of the best days of her life. Like that's one, is her best day of her life. I wouldn't say one, maybe she's yet to have like other best days of her life, but this was it. So this was us coming in, bringing her along, looking all shy, but she's not shy. When it came to this day, I had, the shyness was gone, super gone. Now with this blessing to sort of the same procedure being used for the traditional one, Sam is being incorporated here. They asked the man to actually hold her daughter's hand to also officially give to the man before they proceed. The whole process, even though that was done for the traditional aspect, which is very different from this because this is the Christian aspect. Yeah. 
So the actual vow taking is done during the blessing or let me see the Christian marriage or the wedding itself. So this is where both couples exchange vows. So the man actually says the same thing then the woman says the same thing. And so that is where they say till death do us apart in sickness and in health you're going to be with a person forever and ever. <laughs> So after the vows are taken, this is where we all stretch forth our hands to pray for the couple. Now it is believed that this is a union of two people but spiritually a lot of things are involved so they need god's blessings and a lot to strengthen their marriage because even though it's a man and a wife um there's a lot of things that goes on so at this point we were all trying to pray don't ask me what i was doing i was also praying <laughs> Now, all that was said here was, let no man put asunder what God has joined together. I hope I'm correct. Yes, I actually went to the Bible school, you know, you know. So I'm just in these translations for people who do not understand our local dialects. Basically, just summarizing everything up for you all to actually understand. So one thing I liked about this, it was a very brief, not, not brief, but it was a very enclosed ceremony. If you're not invited, you can't come. And she actually wanted a few people around. So a lot of people couldn't make it for the wedding. I'm pretty sure we didn't reach out to a lot of people. We just, she's like that. She is a very personal person. She doesn't really want her life out there. So me even being able to put this out there is like based on her approval. You understand? <laughs> So at this point too, they were signing the marriage certificates. This is another aspect of the actual wedding or let me see the blessing of the Christian marriage where you do the, the court. So you have a representative from the court of law to actually bring the certificates for it to be signed that indeed your marriage has been registered in the marriage registry. I didn't know even if you have the marriage registry, but hey, I, I haven't been married before. Probably I would have a sit down with my friend one day and talk about all these things because there are certain things that I'm not familiar with. So both families, you need two witnesses from each side of the family, two from the woman's side, two from the man's side to sign then the two would also sign that indeed um they are legally married now
ovation. After the signing and after the couple had had their first dance together, the Amari certificate was ready and was presented to the woman because it was believed that women can actually keep things very, very well. Then afterwards, it was time for them to cut the cake. Of course, what is a wedding without a cake? So that was a cake over there. Uh, during the cake cutting, we have the family members and um, people, key members who were actually invited to stand beside and help the couple cut the cake. <laughs> So fast forward, everything was done. The rest were all merry making, fun, picture taking, eating, socializing, and a lot more. I wish my friend all the best in her journey called marriage, and I pray that everything that she ever wished for may come to pass. And I love her so much. Thank you guys for sticking and staying with me through the preparation till the end. Expect other amazing videos for this vlogmas season. I see your favorite girl, she Jackie says, your hostess with the mustache. Peace, and I am out. Everywhere she goes, every day, she Jackie says, with the strength of a woman, she Jackie says, with the strength of a woman. Woman, she jacket says.